What's up, peeps? This is the Magician of Tarot here, back with another installment. Welcome to my reading. Welcome to your reading. We're talking about next in love. We're talking about who wants to love on you. Who wants to... That's not love. <laughs> Sex is not love, guys. Sex is not love. <laughs> love is being appreciated, okay? <laughs> Somebody needs to know that. But I have four pals here that I've already pre up and blessed. I haven't picked my pals. Give me one second, please. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are great. Let's get it in. First power is going to be this bay leaf right there. Say, bitch, better have my mind. <laughs> Second power is going to be the cinnamon stick. Say, I like it like that. I like it like that. Third power is going to be this cardinal seed right there. Say, I need it. I want it. I want it. I need it. Last but not least, it's going to be a star in each right there. Say, twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I want to what you are. Guys, those are your pals. That's all I got for you. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. That's what happens when I get a subscription every time. Every time. No, I'm kidding. It doesn't happen like that. But um, like, share, subscribe. Time stamps below. Peace. What's up, Bailey? Welcome to your reading. Let's talk about next in love. Holy Spirit, Great Spirit, what's going on with next in love for my Bailey crew? You guys got extra cards, so buckle your seatbelts. I don't know what we're talking about. I don't have any channel messages. Great Spirit, start us off, please. Next in love is going to surprise the S H I T out of you. Oftentimes, uh oh, we got a big butt out here. Some of you guys you got a big butt, or your partner has a big butt. Don't know which one it is. It doesn't have to be a big butt either. It could be another big item is what I'm trying to say. I also have a narcissist out here. You're going to be surprised by a narcissist or somebody that you view as a narcissist. Somebody that needs a lot of attention. Somebody that played Houdini and disappeared from your life is what I'm trying to say. So they're going to surprise you just as quickly as they disappear. Okay, so next in love is coming from a narc. <laughs> I don't mean to say it. I feel like they are turning away from their narc-like tendencies, but I'm going to tap in with my second card. What's going on with this narc out here? This narc went on a detour. This narc did not get met with the goodness of life with this reversal out here. I see a detour out here. I see this person wanting to play the field with his knight of swords out here, but they want to come back. I see this knight coming back. My knights go on missions, okay? It's a lot of activity of them leaving. I, like I said before, I saw Houdini out here, so I saw him leaving, and I saw him going on detours, but I also see him coming back for whatever reason. We got reversals. What else we got? We got nine of wands out here upright i feel like you called this narc out and i feel like your words really affect this narc or whoever this person is that abandoned you that left you alone that left you weary because that's what the nine of wands is being weary and tired and wondering where when is enough you know what i mean where did it get you is what i'm getting with the nine of wands and i feel like <clears throat> this narc feels beaten up but the narc deserves to be beaten up because he puts you through a lot with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a lot of energy, a lot of tiredness. What else you got? You got the Three of Swords out here in the universe. So Narc wants to heal your heart. So next in love is somebody from the past, somebody that already broke your heart. You know, when they disappeared, they broke your heart. When they appeared, they broke your heart. They're like, their energy caught you off guard. And you didn't expect them to creep into your heart space as quickly as they did, but they did. And they disappeared as quickly as they appeared. But now they're going to appear. And when I see that they are going to appear, they want to heal what they broke. What else you got? I got the Four of Swords out here in reverse. What I see with the Four of Swords in reverse, they're going to go out their way. They're not going to sit on their laurels. That's what I see here with this Knight of Swords in reverse. They're going to get off their asses. What else we got? We got them getting off their ass with the Knight of Wands out here upright. I'm afraid, well, they're afraid that there's competition. Whenever I, see, look at how he's looking right at this other knight. Like, he feels like there's competition. He's paranoid that there's competition. Somebody else is rocking your world, and they don't like that. They want to come back in and see what's going on, and they want to see if they can be the ones that rock your world. That's what I'm trying to say. 
<clears throat> I got the Ten of Wands out here upright. This person kind of left you in a effed up position with the Ten of Wands out here. You had to move forward despite how hard it was. There's a lot of burdens he placed upon you somehow, some way. What else we got? We got you getting out. Like, I remember the burdens that I just mentioned with the Ten of Wands out here, but despite how difficult he made it become, you got out of it. You were freer from the situation. I feel like you guys learned a lot from about yourselves moving forward from the situation. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. But you learned a lot about yourself. You got, you didn't think you had the strength. You know, I feel like you were tied to this person with its Eight of Swords. And you didn't think that you would be able to walk away from this person, but you did. <clears throat> I got a person that plays a lot of mental games with all these swords in reverse. And remember when we had the narc coming out in the reading? So lots of mental games with this person. <clears throat> what else we got? We got the queen of swords out here in reverse. What I'm getting is you weren't tolerating the game. So you, you cut yourself out of the equation is what I'm getting with this queen of swords. And like I said before, this person <clears throat> feels like you beat them up. Like, I feel like you call this person out time and time again. And they like, damn, why am I a punching bag? Because that's what I see here with him being in red. You beat him up and he seems like, well, he feels like it's unnecessary with this Queen of Swords being in reverse. But I feel like it's entirely necessary. <clears throat> what else we got? We got the Six of Cups upright. Now, the issue was trust. This narc didn't have trust because of the individuals that he surrounded himself with is a strong channel message, but he trusts you. But you don't trust him though. He's gonna appear, but you don't trust him. But next in love is love is what Spirit is showing me to tell you. Like he's changed, he wants to be different. He wants to operate in trust. He wants to operate in love. But now you don't trust him because of his narcissist as tendencies. Great Spirit, can I get closer remarks please? <clears throat> he's just gonna appear he's gonna surprise you and you're gonna be like what's going on here let's talk about this magician in reverse eight of wands in reverse you're not gonna hear from him you're not gonna see him my eight of wands is communication and travel you haven't heard from him or seen him but he's gonna appear swiftly because my eight of wands is swift energy you might be thrown off you might be startled, is what I'm getting, because this is a lot of quick energy with the Magician and this Eight of Wands energy. What else we got? Uh, Knight of Swords in reverse. This is Detour. Two of Swords out here. You guys are fully aware of the Detour, and you weren't putting up with the Detour. This is a big-ass M to the O with the Two of Swords out here. You say you want to venture off and go on other extracurricular activity detours? Go right ahead. I'm not putting up with it. I got the three of swords out here in reverse. You healed your own heart. And now he has to, you know, continue the process. Is what I see here with the three of swords out here in reverse. And I got the six of swords out here in reverse. It's not going to be easy. He feels like, you know, time heals all. No, you still got work to do, bro. <laughs> you still got work to do. Time heals all my ass. Let's talk about this nine of wands. He really thought time heals all and that, like, the more time that was expended, the more it would be easier for you to forgive him. You remember. <laughs> Look at you looking back with your bandage still on. Like, no, I didn't forget. I'm looking at you. I see you approaching me, narc. But this is also him. He feels like he's a punching bag to you. He's a narc. Like, he always thinks that he always personalized things and he doesn't take accountability. <laughs> Let's talk about this nine of wands out here. And um, also pick up on um, victimization as well. <clears throat> Five of pentacles out here in reverse. He feels like he didn't hurt you as hard or harshly. Like, I feel like you both moved on. Like, my five of pentacles is all about suffering a loss. He feels like you didn't suffer enough. Or, you know, it wasn't as bad as you describe it to be. Let's talk about the three of swords in reverse. <laughs> like, that's more in consideration. I just want to point that out. Let's talk about the Three of Swords in reverse, though. Six of Swords. He wants to relieve or undo what he did. Because my Six of Swords is all about going from a rough state to a calm state. I thought I had it out here. But um, I see that he wants to, you know, 
kill what he did wrong and he wants to be active about it. Let's talk about this Knight of Wands out here. I see competition with both these knights out here in one reading. Seven of Cups. He feels like you have options. He feels like, you know, you're a prize. I see lots of trophies out here. <laughs> he doesn't want someone else to gain his trophy. Go figure. Go figure. But time heals all, though. Time heals all. But he doesn't want anybody to snatch his prize. <laughs> Let's talk about this Eight of Swords out here in reverse. Full card in reverse. Like, you were foolish to think that you could keep someone stuck or keep someone on the shelf with this Eight of Swords out here in reverse and this full card out here in reverse. My viewers got free. I got free if I got a crosswatch out there. We're not stupid. The only person that's stupid is the person that thought you could keep someone stuck and stagnant in time. Okay. Let's talk about this Queen of Swords out here. Some of us are a bit scorned. I'll take that title. But we're also going to keep people keep people accountable. You know? We're not going to overlook. Strength card. <laughs> upright. We got the upper hand. We have the strength. And we have the receipts to back up our claims. I feel like, you know, ego was a factor. And we said, not today. Not today. We're not going to deal with your ego and pride. We're not going to deal with being treated as an option. If anything, you're going to be the option. I'm just going to move forward and not be placed in this narcissistic circus. I see a circus right here with this lion. Let's see the Six of Cups. They want to be trustful. Devil card in reverse. They have given up a lot of things in order to be trustful. Some of them have given up sex addictions. Some of them have given up drug addictions. But I still want you to watch them. Because my devil in reverse is a person that plays really well. They have a mask on. They hide their demonic being. Well, they keep it well kept. And to have this untrustworthy vibe with this Six of Cups in reverse and the devil card upright, they could be a good fucking liar. So watch them. It's, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are we going? What's going on here? Give me one second. I don't like this combination. I see an agent for the devil. I see an agent for the motherfucking devil. Y'all, you're going to have to watch this person. This person's probably going to call it love, but you're still going to have to watch this person with the devil being out here in reverse. Like I said before, and I'm going to double back. Whenever the devil card comes out in reverse, is the person that plays innocent, the person that plays, that has a mask on, and they keep their demonic side well kept. But I see a motive. So you watch them for me. You do that for me, please. Next in love, they're going to call it love. You see if it's love. <laughs> Peace. Your intuition is too sharp already. That's what I see here. Some people think they're really clever. I like those kind of people. <laughs> I like those kinds of people. Because I like tripping them up. I like watching them <laughs> think they're clever. What's up, Cinnamon Steak? Welcome to your reading. Let's talk about you. Next in love. Great spirit. What's going on with Next in love? If you want to know, you guys got extra cards. This could be a shit talking reading. You might want to go to pile three because I see three cards right here the same. So something about pile three. Let's talk about pile two. What's going on with Next in Love, Great Spirit? Three of Cups out here in reverse. Not a good start. Spirit is leading me to your friend group. Um, I don't trust your friends. You shouldn't trust your friends. Next in Love, I see cock blockers out here, bro. <laughs> What's going on here? Death card, you got to end some toxic ass friends in your life because they're cock blocking. They're ending things. The death card is all about an ending. This is a cock blocker. I see this knife out here about to swipe someone's cock <laughs> you know you got some hater ass friends out here you got some toxic ass friends out here and i'm calling them out but you should have did that shit okay next in love is you got somebody interested in you but you got a friend that's gonna you know throw salt in your game what else you got 
king of swords out here. What you need to do is detach from those friends so they don't cock block you. They don't, like my king of swords detaches at a drop of a dime. They have the capability of cutting the situation out before it even begins is what I'm getting with the king of swords. But that has to be your energy. You have to be executive. You have to boss up and say, you know what? That's not really a friend. Why are you still cock blocking, bro? Why are you still hating on me? Because they're interested in me. So you have to make some executive decisions. What else we got? Ten of wands out here. You don't want to face the music. That's what I see here with this wands in front of his face. You don't want to face the music. But it'll bite you in the ass. That's what I see here. I see lots of excuses as well. And lots of things that you don't see you know about these friends but what i see here is mannequins and bodies with these sticks like with these sticks it's just physical necessity it's not really support it's not really emotion it's just a body it's just a stick it's just a mannequin okay what else you got we got the star card out here upright i feel like you guys heal your friends more than they heal you you support your friends you pour into your friends and then when it's your turn to be healed, you never get healed. You might be an empath because that's what I'm channeled to say. I feel like your friends suck up all your energy and you allow it. You're not able to heal other people because your friends are taking up all that healing energy. You got to detach. You got you to gotta watch them. You got to see if the shoe would still operate the same had it been on the, sh on the other foot. You know what I mean? <laughs> But like a lot of things don't go reciprocated with your friends. You pour into them, but they don't do the same for you. What else you got? Seven of Wands in reverse. You don't like confrontation. But baby, if you want that pussy beat up, you better have some fight in you. That's what I'm getting with this pussy getting beat up. I feel like you guys want some sexual healing. You want some, you know, some attention, but your friends are cock blocking. That's what I see here. You know, what I see here is your friends be creating boundaries that you don't even know of. You, you can't get your pussy beat up because, you know, your friends are acting like enemies with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Nine of Pentacles out here in reverse. I like this energy in reverse, to be honest with you. Because it tells me that somebody wants you by their side. They don't want to see you happily single. My nine of pentacles is a woman that's happily single. That she has more than enough. She has abundance. She has luxury. But in reverse, they don't want to see you happily single. They want to lock it down with you. You know, they want to share with you is what I'm getting with the nine of pentacles in reverse. But unfortunately, there's a boundary here. You know, your friends want to see you single. They want to be able to reap the benefits of you being single. What else we got ending this reading? Knight of Wands out here in reverse. You need to start, some of y'all need to start whipping your friends' asses is what I'm getting with this aggression in reverse. Because they done had up to three offenses that needed a, you know, a, a slap or something. And I don't advocate violence, but I do advocate standing up for yourself. And you guys got to recognize what support is and what, what it's not. You got to use your third eye. You guys been ignoring some things with that third eye being in reverse. All right, let's get closer remarks. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, can I get closer remarks? Next in love, somebody is interested in you. I don't know who they are, but your friends do. <laughs> and if you notice that they are kind of getting in the way or like, you know, throwing shot, salt in your game, you got to step up and say, is there a problem? We're friends, right? Or are we not? And if we're not, then we got to address some things. But I saw that seven of wands out here and I see the eight of wands out here. Communication and travel. You guys don't like to argue is what I see here. And it don't have to be an argument. You just have to hold people accountable. You got to stand for something or fall for anything. If you don't stand for it, they, they will, you know, they'll continue to do it. Three of cups in reverse. Two of pentacles out here. I see results. I see one point to another. So I see you doing something about your fraudulent ass friends. And I feel like a lot of you guys know that they use you for money sake or when the money dries up, they're nowhere to be found is what I see here. Okay, one point to another. Your friend one minute and then not the other? No, X. <laughs> Death card upright. This is the last of toxicity. 
Lots of toxicity of you being backstabbed and betrayed by your friends with the death card and the ten of swords out here. I, some of you guys feel suicidal because of your friends, because they don't support you or they don't support you in a need that, that you need. You pour into them and then you're like, damn, why am I still suffering? You're an empath. They're sucking you fucking dry. Don't allow that shit. Okay, you guys should not be fucking suicidal when you're a healer. They know what the fuck they're doing. I take this shit seriously. Now you got a karmic as a friend, is what I'm trying to say. Because they don't want to see you heal other people. It's a spiritual war going on out here. Good and evil. So here you are, down and out, sad, wanting to slit your fucking wrist. Because you call these bitches friends? When you've seen the fucking... The signs? Excuse my language. I gotta digress. <sighs> I gotta digress. Let's talk about the King of Swords in reverse. You gotta detach if you can't confront. It's one of the two. With two knights out here, it needs to be a fucking altercation. It needs to be a, a royal rumble out this bitch. But if you can't have a royal rumble, you don't have to. I'm not ad advising violence, I never do. But if you can't do that, you need to cut their ass off, block. We don't, you don't have to explain shit. <laughs> Unless you want to. And if you do, let them have it. Let's talk about the Ten of Wands out here. I see a lot of things that you that goes unlooked. I see lots of cocks out here that you could have had, that you could have enjoyed time and time again, but you ignore lots of things and it bites you in the ass. Ten of Cups in reverse. What you call love will be your demise, okay? This Ten of Wands ain't nothing but stress. You gotta recognize you've been in nothing but stress. I saw it here and I don't, I don't appreciate this energy because wanting to take your own life this isn't i feel like for some of y'all it's intentional like you could be their sacrifice type shit let's talk about the star card out here it's a it's a spiritual world good and evil okay you're supposed to be healing other people and getting them guidance but if they don't listen and you continuously try to pour into them you're going to be in a deficit Knight of Cups out here upright. You lead with your heart is what I'm getting with this Knight of Cups upright instead of you leading with your fist. And I, you know, I don't mind that. That's okay. I'm not telling you to fight, but I'm telling you to recognize where your love is going. And if it's not being used properly, it's time to seal the plug. Is what I see here. I see a plug in his hand and I see, you know, lots of water being poured out. And he's like, you know what? Plug that shit back up. They're not using it. We got to, you know, Share it freely with others. Let's talk about the Seven of Wands in reverse. This is a confrontation that you don't want. Hierophant in reverse is a person that's shady. And if you don't want shady people, you have to confront them. And if you don't want to confront them, you will have shady people. You got to hold them accountable. I don't care how long you've known them. I don't care about their reputation. I don't care about none of that shit. <laughs> Let's talk about this Nine of Pentacles. Somebody wants you. Somebody wants to share with you, but somebody also wants to see, see you still single, and that's your friend. Nine of Cups. It makes them happy to see you single. My nines are about what one person endures alone. So your friend kind of dictates to you, keeping you single, keeping you by their side. You know, it's not about them. It's about your happiness. You got to stop allowing people to tell you what your reality is let's talk about this knight of wands out here in reverse it's time for you to tell them what you know <laughs> hangman in reverse and it's not always going to be easy and you might be called crazy is what i'm channeling to hear but if you want to be stuck you gotta act like you don't give a fuck if you don't want to be stuck you have to Act like you don't give a fuck. Sorry, guys. I hope that resonated for you. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm sorry you have some fraudulent ass friends. Next in love it will come when you get rid of some friends because they cock lock. It's like a game to them. <laughs> What 
What's up, Cardamom Saint? Welcome to your reading. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on, Cardamom Saint? Next in love. You guys don't have extra cards, so I hope you feel special. Let's talk about you. Next in love, Great Spirit. What's going on? Four of Wands. This is twin flame energy right here. This is a happy home. You either live with, you know, this person already, and I see you guys reaching higher heights is what I see here with this reef. You guys probably either live with this person already. You're about to have a quick ass union if you're single. I got two audiences out here. I got couples already together that are either living together or they're going to start living together. Or I have a singles out there that are going to run into a twin flame and they're going to move in together really quickly. Because this is your home space. This is celebration. This is twin flame. I got lesbians out here too. Cause, and this could be gays too. It could be straights too, you know, but I see it out here, so I'm gonna call it out. What's going on? The world card. I love this. This is finally, I'm hearing finally. Like, finally, this gets to, the show gets to go on track. I see a track or a train track. Somebody's riding a train, is what I'm trying not to say. But I see a train track out here. I see Amtrak out here. Take a resonates. This world card is all about a successful completion. This has been a long time coming for two twin flames to get together, to be solid, is what I'm getting with the world card. I see a ring out here. Like, I see so much commitment out here. And it's finally out here, like I said before. What else we got? And I also see travel out here. You guys might be moving to a different location with the world card and this home space. Like, I see you guys living together soon, moving in quickly, but I also see you guys moving quickly as well to another location together so you can make a house a home together. So it's not just one person's home, it's a home together. What else you got? Death card in reverse. It's, this is finally. A lot of you guys, a lot of singles, I see a single woman out here that's been depressed and crying and sad and down and out and depressed a lot of you guys didn't think this was going to happen but spirit is telling me all is not lost with the death card being in reverse the death card is all about a, a transformation but spirit is telling me in this context you thought it was going to be an ending with this person somehow some way but all is not lost is what i'm getting with the world card upright and the death card in reverse what else you got sun card upright i see lots of warmth i see lots of major arcana I see lots of happiness. I also see pets and children. So you're going to like, I see warmer weather too. You're going to be moving somewhere where the climate is warmer and more enjoyable. I see a lack of clothes. So that's awesome. What else we got? Devil card in reverse. I feel like somebody had to walk away from a lot of negativity. With the death card and the devil card in reverse, a lot of toxicity and negative lifestyles had to come to an end. Sex addictions, drugs, um, just toxicity in general had to come to an end. And you don't have to worry about that. In fact, I feel like you guys are sober, is what I'm getting with the sin card and the devil card in reverse. And you don't have to be sober, sober, but like you don't dabble with the hard stuff, is what I'm trying not to say. What else we got? Eight of Cups out here. I see you guys leaving everything behind. Just you two, even though it's only one person. I feel like one person had to do some really soul searching. So I'm trying to say with the Eight of Cups. And I feel like they did. And I feel like you guys are going to be leaving everything behind and just going at it, you two, alone. Not like everyone. I love having all this major arcana because it tells me you don't have people's opinion. You know, you're, you're basing this off of your spirit, your intuition, how you feel what feels right ending this reading with the seven of swords out here upright this is sneaking off just like i mentioned i don't feel like well i do feel like actually i i feel like you guys are going to sneak off and go off the grid with the eight of cups and the seven of swords energy okay i feel like you probably won't tell your family he probably won't tell his family and you guys just live happily ever after together secluded or just together in in bliss is what i'm hearing great spirit holy spirit can i get closer remarks
let's talk about this four of wands temperance in reverse temperance in reverse is the mental imbalance i feel like a finally is still here i feel like you guys went crazy without each other and i feel like you guys are finally going to be able to find peace find balance and come together these cups are a duo a pair and i feel like without one another you guys are useless <laughs> quite literally and you guys some of you guys suffered is what i see here with the death card and the tempers out here in reverse a lot of you guys wish for suicide because you weren't you didn't feel you had a purpose is what i'm getting with these cups you guys didn't have a pair is what i'm getting so you were suicidal let's talk about this world card but i see it finally with this world card and i see travel i see things getting on track let's talk about the world card eight of wands so this is communication and travel i see the train tracks all over again with the eight of wands because like i said it's communication and travel you going places and hearing from people literally i see you guys going on vacations i see you guys seeing the world with the eight of wands and the world card upright and finally again you're gonna finally hear from them see them travel with them let's talk about the death card in reverse it's not over it's not lost it's no need for depression seven of cups in reverse you guys have been confused you guys feel like you didn't have an option or you didn't have a purpose is what i'm trying to say with the seven of cups in reverse just really confused and down and out uncertain let's talk about the sun card out here upright i see lots of warmth i see a change in temperature <laughs> that's what warmth is i guess ten of cup i mean ten of pentacles upright i see happiness i see fulfillment with the ten of coins i see love with the warmth and the ten of coins i see you being able to enjoy life more and not having to struggle or suffer let's talk about the devil card in reverse seven of coins in reverse this is another finally because what took so long was this person had addictions or had issues or toxicity but this person had a uh, this person realized he was wasting time or she was wasting time and I feel like now that they know they were wasting time, they want to act quickly. And they they know they've wasted time. Let's talk about this Eight of Cups. This is walking away. But I feel like you both are walking away together. But he had to walk away first. Queen of Wands upright. And so did y'all. Like, I feel like both y'all walked away. You had to walk away because you had to recognize your worth. He had to walk away because of other reasons that I won't mention, but he walked away from it. So, we'll see. Seven of Swords, sneaking away. Nine of Wands in reverse. I feel like people are going to wonder and be weary of where you are or where you last were. You might even feel like, somebody might feel like you're missing with the Nine of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Swords, like you were kidnapped with the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Like, I haven't heard from this person in so long. Like, where have they been? Last time I heard from them is what I'm seeing here with this arrow and this nine of wands in reverse and the seven swords upright. They might think you were abducted, but you weren't. You're living your best life. Peace, guys. Love you. Please like, share, and subscribe. What's up, Sarnese? Welcome. Let's talk about you a little bit. Next in love. Great spirit. Next in love. What's going on? You guys got extra cars. You might have came from Pile 2s, because that's what I'm trying not to say. You might want to go to Pile 2. Check it out. Uh, great spirit. Next in love. What's going on? Pile 4. Sun card out here upright. I like this energy. This is like so warm. I feel like this is summer energy. Next in love is coming quickly, because we're in June and he's tanning i want you guys to go to the beach or go to the pool or go outdoors i want you to get that vitamin d okay because i feel like you're either going to run into somebody or next to love is going to take off because you're outside what's going on here double card in reverse i feel like a lot of you guys stay in the house you 
a lot of you guys do drugs in the house and I'm not I have to call you out with the sun card and the double card in reverse like I feel like you guys feel like you're a high functioning addict and nobody knows but I know I see you um, but you guys got to get out the house to put the drugs down and be seen because I feel like you guys are compulsively using. I see lots of stagnancy out here. I see couch potato out here with the double card. The devil doesn't want to see you outside. Doesn't want to see you get vitamin D. Doesn't want to see you get clean. He wants to see you bound in those chains. And this is also somebody's dealer as well. I'm looking at somebody's dealer right here. But you guys got to get out and put the drugs away, okay? That's just for somebody. I know everybody's not on drugs, but if it's out here, I'm going to call it out because I want to see them prosper. So if you're prospering, then leave it where it's at. Three of Pentacles out here upright. I feel like you need a mingle because I feel like that's what I'm seeing here with the Three of Pentacles. These three individuals are mingling, gathering ideas. I feel like there are other people within your community or your neighborhood that wants to, you know, interact with you and you can and you will gather people and I see mutuals out here. I see this person and this person getting together, but this one person is needed. I see an introduction out here. Okay? But you have to be seen. And you can't be in your drug dungeon. That's what I see here. What else you got? This is an opportunity of a blessing. If you want next in love, you have to get your ass outside and feel the sun. That's what I see here with this coin looking like the sun. I already called this energy out. You're outside. You got to mingle. You got to put it down. Okay? I'm not judging nobody because I come from abusive, toxic parents that you used. And that's why I had to make my decisions the way I made my decisions. And you can too. You can say enough is enough. It's never too late. Don't let the devil lie to you and say, you know what, you've been on this path for far too long. You might as well continue. That's the fucking worst lie that you can tell yourself or that you can listen to. It's never too late. What else we got? Ace of Swords out here. This is getting on a lot of people's nerves or withdrawal will get on a lot of people's nerves because the Ace of Swords in reverse for me is poking. It gets on people's skin, you know what I mean? And some people like to do heroin, is what I see here with the Ace of Swords in reverse. I see an injection. So this is especially for you if you like to do the heroin. The teen, no, the, oh, some people like to do Tina and the meth. Okay, so we got heroin and we got meth out here. Okay, but this is getting on y'all nerves, and I'm sorry, but it's the truth. And I don't want you guys to ignore the truth. I want you to cut the bullshit out. I want you to cut the substances out. I want you to get back on weed. Go on shrooms. Have an a ego death. Okay? That will help you. Because the devil loves ego. <laughs> what else you got? Two of wands out here. You need to put it down. Two of wands in reverse for me is editing, subtraction, dividing. You got to subtract and divide the drugs. The devil expects you to come on back, is what I'm seeing here, because the two wands upright is about planning. So you want to know about next in love, your substances, your use, your vice keeps you bound. What else we got? Knave of Cups out here in reverse. A lot of you guys are way too young to be this dependent. A lot of you guys are a slave to the devil or to your addictions, and you need to seek help. And there is help out there, but you have to seek it first. Okay? Like I said before, you got to stop believing the lie. You got to stop saying, hey, I've been down this road for far too long. Why change now? That's the lie right there. You have to recognize the truth with the Ace of Swords. You have to take the truth by the hands. In English reading with the knave of wands out here upright you got a choice you can be sad about it or you can be adventurous and get some fire up your ass you receive this message with this messenger out here with this tattoo some of you guys have tattoos on your hand so i see here but um one of two ways feel sad and down and out and be a slave to the devil or be an inspiration and go places choice is yours 
and this is also you being a sightseer and getting out the fucking house with the knave of wands and the sun card i take notice of the first card and the last card i count my cards so you need to get out there holy spirit great spirit can i get closer remarks for this pile please it's funny uh, like I said before, I count my cards. I have the four of coins out here upright. If you were to get out there and mingle, you will snag something. You will have a blessing out here with the four of coins out here upright. You're looking for love. You want love. You have to detach first. Great Spirit, can I get closer marks, please? Two cards for the Knave of Cups in Reverse. You got to stop feeling so sorry for yourself with this Knave of Cups in Reverse. I like starting off with my duplicates, so let's start us off. Two of Cups out here, upright. As soon as you stop feeling sorry for yourself and you take responsibility of yourself and what you chose to do, you will find someone. This is the next in love right here with the Two of Cups, but it's not going to happen until you stop feeling sorry for yourself and you do something. You can't be tied down to another person and the devil unless they are into your lifestyle but who wants to be in a codependent relationship you you deserve better what else we got we got the judgment card in reverse what are you gonna do you might think i'm being harsh with the judgment card in reverse you might think i'm being too judgmental but i'm shoving the shit in your face so you can shove it back in my face say hey i did it you didn't think I could do it. You called me out. You were a bitch. Call me one. I don't care. Like, be mad at me. I don't care. I just want you to do better for yourself. That's all I care about. Let's talk about the sun card out here. Emperor's out here. As long as you are kind to yourself, you support yourself, you uplift yourself, you have the confidence within yourself to go far, you will be looked at as a person of beauty, a person of, that's worthy. But you have to know the worth yourself with the empress out here upright, whether you're a woman or a man. You know, you have to be confident. You have to know your worth. I'm not taking genders. Let's talk about the double card in reverse. Hermit card upright. I see a long journey because that's what the hermit card is, a long journey. And because you've been down this long journey, you feel like, you know, you can continue on or it's too late to turn around. It's never too late with the hermit card out here in reverse. In fact, with your youth out here or how old, however old you are, I don't care how old you are, but I see it's not too late with these knaves in reverse and this hermit card upright. Okay. Let's talk about this three of pentacles out here. I see minglings. Six of pentacles. I see someone that's interested in you. But you're single right now because I have the Nine of Pentacles out here upright. You're single. I wouldn't say happily single because my Nine of Pentacles is kind of happily single. But somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to interact with you. And I see mutuals because my Six of Pentacles has three individuals. And my Three of Pentacles has three individuals. So you have to mingle with other people within your community or neighborhood. But you first got to get out the house. And I'm sure, you know, you got to take care of this, this, this demon first. Let's talk about this Ace of Pentacles, getting outside, getting some fresh air and clarity. Wheel of Fortune, it would do you so much good with the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is not just money. It's so much that comes with the Wheel of Fortune. It's the lifestyle. It's abundance. It's money. It's happiness. It's so much. It's not just one thing. This is an opportunity for you to change the perspective, to turn the beat around, to turn the wheel around. What I've been trying to tell you, and you can do it with the... Ace of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune out here upright. But you got to make a choice. Are you feeling sad for yourself? Or do you believe in yourself? Which one is it? Ace of Swords in reverse. This is going to get on your nerves. You got to accept the shit's going to get on your nerves. You got to accept it's not going to be easy. You know, you've experienced so much pleasure. You got to experience the opposite. You got to lean into it. It's not going to make you happy with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Like I said before, you got to lean into it. I see them leaning into one another. The same way you have to lean into sobriety. The same way you want to lean into another person. Okay? Because I see a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment. But you have to cut some things out of your life first. 
Let's talk about the two of wands in reverse. This is you editing, subtracting, and dividing things out of your life. <laughs> death card is things ending, okay, before it's too late. With the death card and the hermit card, I don't want to say an overdose, but I see the drugs taking a toll over your body, okay? I see a long line right here, and it doesn't have to be as long as it is. Let's talk about this Knave of Wands in reverse. You have a choice. I'm going to say it, and I'm going to say it again. Your perspective is crucial in this reading. What else you got? Four of Cups in reverse. I feel like you guys know. You're aware that it's crucial. Because my Four of Cups in reverse is being fully aware and not being spoiled rotten. Okay? So you guys are aware of this energy. And a lot of you guys are rotten on the inside. And I'm not calling you out. Well, I am. I'm calling you out so you can heal yourself. You can do it, but you have to believe first. Like I said fucking before, perspective is everything for you. You're going to beat yourself up and say, I can't. I've gone too far. Or are you going to get some fire up your ass and say, you know what? I can't. I believe. Enough is enough. Okay? Get off your ass is what I see here with the four cups in reverse. You can. Peace. Love ya. Please like, subscribe.